sitting in rocking chairs here in Dublin talking the old Farmer's Almanac. This is off the bucket list as far as the live shots are concerned. It is the number one question I get, even in September, is what is the winter going to be like? And that's why we always have the Almanac handy. We have Tim Clark here. You are the contributing editor for the old Farmer's Almanac going back now some 40 years. And tell me the difference. When, when people get one of these Almanacs as opposed to other ones that are out there, what are they getting? Well, they're getting reassurance, I think. Uh, based on the fact that we are the oldest continuously published periodical in North America and have held that record since the middle of the 19th century. So you know you're getting something that has been lasted. You know, it's, it's around for a long time. Um, our current editor is only the 13th editor in the history of 225 years. So there's consistency. It's the same message has been giving out. And, uh, and I think people like the fact that uh, they can look at this little yellow book mm -hmm. and they saw it in their grandparents' house and it hangs on the nail, and it's just something you can count on. And especially since it's been around so long, it couldn't be completely inaccurate and, and not be around and have the staying power. Talk about just all the other things you guys do, from recipe and cookbooks to almanacs for kids and calendars. There's everything here in this gift shop. That's right. All kinds of calendars and um, books. We have a long series of books we've produced, mostly uh, cookbooks recently but also books on gardening, books on health cure, you know, folk remedies for things. That's one of my specialties. Um, it, we represent a kind of an older look at the world. And I think, in, especially in times of trouble and insecurity, such as we're going through now, people look backwards. They, they want to go back to a comforting past where grandma and grandpa you know, lived on the farm and, and could take you for a hayride. Well, Tim.